In this video, we ask the question, does the sum from k equals 3 to infinity of 1 over k times ln of ln of k converge or not? Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you miss a video. Okay, we can first use the test for divergence to see if this works, but... So we have to do the limit from k equals goes to infinity of the inside, so that would be 1 over... So 1 over k times ln of ln of k... So this goes to 1 over infinity times ln of ln of infinity. So this just goes to 1 over infinity, which goes to 0. But for the test for d divergence, we, we can't use this because 0 doesn't show... It shows that it, we can't use this test. Okay, so let's do the integral test. Okay. So the bounds are from 3 to infinity. Okay. We'll replace k with x, so k goes to x. So we have 1 over x times ln of ln of x. So we'll see if we can in integrate this. So we'll do a u sub, so let u equal ln of x. We'll have du will be dx over x. So we can replace dx over x with du. So when x equals 3, u will be ln of 3. When x is infinity, u will be infinity. dx over x, we said it was du all over ln of ln x, which is u. But unfortunately, we can't integrate this because we don't know how. So let's try to do this again, but a different way. Okay, we have the sum from k equals 3 to infinity of 1 over k times ln of ln of k. What do we know about ln of k? This is less than k. So we take ln on both sides, we get ln of ln of k is less than ln of k. We can take the reciprocal, so 1 over ln of ln of k. We have to change the sign of the inequality, so from less than to greater than, 1 over ln of k. Okay, so this sum right here, so what we started with, this is greater than the sum from k equals 3 to infinity, not a good 3, of 1 over k times ln of k, because we replaced this part, 1 over this. Okay. So now let's look for the, at the integral test for this. So we have the integral from 3 to infinity of 1 over x times ln x. And now this we can integrate. So let's let u equal ln x. du equals dx over x. So this will be the integral. Similarly, this will be from ln of 3 to infinity. Okay, dx over x we're going to replace with du over ln x, which is u. We know what 1 over u, the integral of that is. That's ln absolute value, but we don't need absolute value in this case because it's positive. ln of x from ln of u from u equals ln 3 to u equals infinity, going to infinity. So already you can see that this is ln of infinity, which goes to infinity, which means this sum goes to infinity. So that means if we look at the original question, no, it does not converge. It diverges. And that is the end of the video. Hope you liked it. And thanks for watching.